Tech in 5. Dive into Python with a fun game. Learn in just 5 minutes. Welcome to our tutorial on creating a digital clock using Pygame in Python. We'll start with the basics. Drawing the empty clock face, which serves as the foundation for our timepiece. To begin, we initialize Pygame and set up our display window. We'll use a 400 by 400 pixel window, which will be displayed with the title, Clock with Pi Game. The heart of our clock is its face, represented by a simple circle. Drawing this circle in Pi Game is straightforward. We define the center of our display as the center of the circle and use the Pi Game's draw circle method to render it. In these lines of code, center determines the middle of our display and clock radius defines the size of our clock's face. The last argument in the circle method specifies the thickness of the circle's border. The main loop is the heart of our clock's functionality. It's a continuous loop that ensures the circle we've drawn is persistently displayed and, later, will update the hands of the clock in real time. When you close the window and Pygame's quit event is detected, we set running to false, effectively ending the main loop and closing our application. Now, let's talk about the frame rate. Frame rate, measured in frames per second, dictates how often our screen updates. For our clock, we've chosen a modest rate of 15 FPS, which is more than sufficient for a clock where changes occur only once per second. As you can see, the simple circle representing our clock's face is continuously displayed. At this stage, it might not look like much, but this loop is the foundation upon which all further functionality will be built. With our clock face ready, it's time to add the marks to transform the circle into a clock. But how do we calculate where each mark should go? The key is to think of the clock face as a circle, and we're working in a 360 degree system. Starting from the top of the clock, which we designate as the 12 o'clock position, we can calculate the angle for each subsequent mark. The circle is divided into 60 parts, with each part representing 6 degrees. 360 degrees divided by 60 equals 6. This allows us to place a mark for each minute around the clock face. To calculate the exact position of each mark, we apply the sine and cosine functions. We can determine the x and y coordinates for the end of each mark, starting from the center of the circle. This ensures each mark is precisely placed, maintaining the symmetry and functionality of the clock. Now that our clock is marked with the hours and minutes, it's time to add the hands. Unlike the static marks, the hands of the clock move in real time, continuously pointing towards the current hour, minute, and second. Let's start with the hour hand. The full circle of the clock, 360 degrees, represents 12 hours. Therefore, each hour corresponds to an angle of 30 degrees, 360 divided by 12. However, the hour hand also moves gradually between the hours, not jumping from one hour mark to the next. To account for this, we add a fraction of 30 degrees based on the current minute. The minute hand moves more frequently, completing a full circle every 60 minutes. This means each minute corresponds to an angle of 6 degrees. 360 divided by 60. The calculation here is more straightforward. The second hand, much like the minute hand, moves at 6 degrees per second, making its calculation identical to that of the minute hand. But there's a twist in making our clock hands look more authentic, the offset. In a real clock, the hands are not attached directly at the center, but slightly off-center. To achieve this, we don't start drawing the hands exactly from the center point. Instead, we offset the starting point slightly towards the direction the hand is pointing. This means if our second hand is 10 cm long, it's pinned not at the 0 cm mark, but rather at the 1 cm mark. This small shift makes all the difference, giving the impression that the hands are rotating around a fixed point, just like in an actual clock. Incorporating these mathematical calculations and the realistic touch of the offset, we bring our clock to life. The hands move precisely, reflecting the current time, just as they would on a traditional clock. Stay tuned for more videos on Tekken 5.